Hello, welcome back. I'm Tanya from Tanya's Witchy Kitchen. And how are you doing today? I'm not too bad. So in cleaning, right, especially our shoe area and our coat area, I've come to notice a few things. Like when my girls lived at home, you know, there were seven of us and um, we had shoes all over. Like, those girls own shoes, right? I'm not a shoe collector. I have a few pairs. I have a few pairs I don't wear. <laughs> but most of them are in my room. And and then we have shelves, so I try and keep them in the shelves because otherwise they get kicked around or the dog takes them or, you know. But when the girls were here, right, we had shoes all over the place. And, um, and they moved out, and I figured the shoe population in our house would go down. But it hasn't. This shoe area is still a disaster. And I'm looking at these shoes going to my old, my oldest son. I'm like, why are these skater shoes still here? He went through this skater boy phase, you know, skateboarding. And um, he was, I don't even know if they fit him, right? And then they have sandals. And then they have other tennis shoes. And there's tennis shoes that are just worn the hell out. And somebody got new ones. But they didn't throw them in the garbage or recycle them or whatever you do with tennis shoes nowadays. And then they have cowboy boots and, you know, and snow boots that didn't get put away and all this stuff. I'm just like, you guys, there's only five of us here and the shoe population hasn't decreased. And then we have these racks for coats, right? That, that rack is full. There's two racks. There's a high one and a low one. It's full. And I have two coats on it and my youngest son has one. The rest is my husband's and my other two boys. They got sweatshirts and coats and winter coats and coveralls and and actually they moved the coveralls out to the garage but it's still full and none of it's mine. I'm like I'm sick of cleaning the shoe area you guys because none of these are my shoes. I try and keep my shoes picked up you know in nice if they're not on the shelf then they're my old ones and they're you know it's like when does the shoe population go down? Yeah, I don't know. It's just crazy. Like my hair today, it's just crazy. Flat on one side, curly on the other. It's got a mind of its own. I'll tell you what. But anyway, today we're doing another soap. And this was one I was hoping to promise that would come to fruitation and be spectacular. And I'm call it, calling it On the Edge. You'll see what I mean. Three things. Dream big. Be true to you. You are worth it. I'm not doing the shoe area. Let's go check out this video. And to the soap on the edge. <laughs> this is marshmallow root that has been soaking in water overnight. It's really syrupy. It's not fluid like water. It's really syrupy, thick type. I'm adding it to my lye water, which has cooled down. So it's got the lye in it already. And... Is about three, four ounces of the marshmallow root powder. Okay, so infused marshmallow root. And then, let's see, that is Tequila Sunrise and Blue Tide by Mad Micas. Those are my colors today. And it wasn't cold in our house, but there's so many solid oils in the soap that it's, uh, the oils are, like, <laughs> really cool. Um, there's also kale and clay and marshmallow root powder in the oils, okay? Double whammy with the marshmallow root. I know this was kind of a, uh, I was going to make just a plain bar with the marshmallow root, but after the All Natural series, I was just like, no, no. And then I was like, I can make a butterfly swirl out of this. Yeah, I can do this, you know. So, yeah, it's me. Sometimes I'm just a little too complicated with my soaps. Maybe it should be more simple. I don't know. What do you think? Mm hmm <laughs> Oh, my scent blend is um, Bergamot and Mandarin by Wholesale Supplies Plus. Yep, I was ready. I wasn't sure how much I had in there, but it was perfect. <laughs> Didn't need any more. It's interesting. I like the scent blend. It has some bad reviews, but I like it. I like it better in lotion and bath bombs and bath salts and stuff like that 
the soap almost changes it a little bit. It It's like it takes something out and I'm not sure what, but it's still a really good blend. Um, so I poured off, did we pour off three? Three ounces for colors out of a 20 ounce batch of soap batter. Soap batter. Okay. And, um, God, there was so much I wanted to tell you about this soap. <laughs> and I get here and I'm just like, I got nothing. I got nothing. I will tell you that I was really happy that it stayed so fluid. And I'm pretty sure the scent blend helped with that. So, um, like we did last time, I wish I would have reviewed the video I did last time with the, um, the It'll Buff Bar, right? I, I, I just wish I would have, like, remembered how I did the down. And I think it's a K motion up on this, you know, but whatever. We'll talk about that when I get to the hangers well. Um, but basically, I just put, um, I probably could have done two ounces, just left with just two ounces. Nah, the three was good. Two might have been okay, but it's so fluid. So I'm basically, you know, the two down the side and trying to, using the the uh, natural color of the soap batter to push it back over to the other side. But it, it was so fluid. I have that problem. It's so fluid. It's, it's just soaper's problem, isn't it? I don't know why I did the white. I was think I was trying to break up the blue and the orange. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, I have a problem, don't I? When I when I need fluid, which you do kind of need it, but I was really it might have worked a little better if it wasn't quite so fluid. I don't know. I just think I screwed up with the hanger is what I did. You'll see what I mean. Yeah, you'll see what I mean. It's all on the edge. <laughs> There's just not much to this pour, you guys. Um, and, you know, it, it slowly thickens up, but it, right, it's still so thin that um, I'm just trying to keep it all pushed to the one side. You know, I did a great job at that of keeping it all pushed to that side too. Just uh, do you have do you have do you have a lot of shoes in your house? Like, I I just don't know. I mean. It's, it's like, do these, and to any of you ask them if they fit, of course they fit. Everything fits, right? Like my son's skater shoes. I don't even think they fit him. He just thinks they're fabulous. He doesn't even wear them anymore. But I can't throw them out because, you know, they're his skater shoes. Oh, crazy kids. And then my youngest, he just constantly outgrows his to wear, um, you know, they're, they're just they're just shot they're done but he doesn't throw them away he just leaves them sit there on the you know bottom by the shelf and yep give it a mix because it's getting a little thick and racy give it a mix give it a little mix that's what helps it does help yep I used to do that a lot with my uh, 70 soap because that has all the little colors you know in the column mold and then you pull the thing up yeah but for this hoping to get a decent swirl a hanger swirl out of this but yeah so I just went back and I went forward and I think I was just pulling it the wrong way guys like no keys no I mean I don't know it was super fluid you know, maybe it was just still too fluid. I don't know. Because, like I said, I had no problems it, it, with it. With the, uh, you know. Ugh, I can't even talk, you guys. I can't even talk. <sighs> Those are pretty colors, though. But I had no problem with the It'll Buff Bar. You know, that one turned out just delightful. But I remember it's, it's like you go down and then... You do a K on the bottom, and I mean, I can't. I, I I drew it out once. I think if you go back to, like, last summer, there's a couple butterfly swirls, and it actually showed you a diagram of how I did it, which is pretty funny. 
Now I'm just playing with the top. Oh, you want to know what my recipe was? Okay. It is one, ten. Nope, it can't be. Okay, it's one ounce castor, four ounces coconut, four ounces olive, four ounces palm, two ounces rice bran, one ounce shea, and four ounces of tallow. Yep, you can figure the percentages out for you want. It makes 20 ounces of soap, which is what fits perfectly in my little two pound mold here. Are you enjoying summer as it just flies by us? Mm hmm. Seriously, yeah. Yeah, no, my girls were high, highly shoe lovers. Just, ugh. well, my daughter, my one daughter worked at a, a shoe store or a department in a big department store in the shoe section. So she was always coming home with shoes because she got deals on shoes and she's bought me a few pairs of shoes and I'm just, you know, so awesome. Shoes are fun. I just don't have any place to wear them. You know, can't wear them in the field. Can't wear them walking. Can't, you know. <laughs> but can you imagine just owning one pair of shoes? Like when I was growing up, I owned a pair of tennis and a pair of sandals. That was it. Okay, that got sea popped and gelled and sprayed and all the fun things. Yes, it did. My boys are freezing me out of my house. Do you have, do you have temperature? Or thermostat wars. I call them thermostat wars. Yeah. This bar was hard. It was a nice, solid, hard bar. Like, barely 12 hours. Maybe 15. Nice, solid, hard bar. Mm-hmm. It, it, it was great. <laughs> I should show you some bubble action. Because the marshmallow, it's just, it's just, it's crazy what adding that does. I made a shampoo bar. If I don't remember if I told you this. I don't think I did. No. I made a shampoo bar a long time ago with marshmallow root in it. Just a plain bar. Um, had a little bit of a scent blend to it. Not, not a whole lot. And that thing was so smooth on the hair. It was just so beautifully smooth on the hair. Um, uh, yeah, it looks like I burnt some marshmallow root. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just, I might have to take a slice or give it to my son. He's one. He's so picky with his hair. Um, and just ask him, you know, does this make, if it makes his hair too soft and he can't flip it, then he'll be upset. But, um, maybe I should give a piece to my daughter just to see, you know, like how, you know, it's so different. I just can't describe it. So different. But look at these pieces and look at those glycerin rivers. Holy Hannah. Yeah, those are glycerin rivers. Sometimes they're hard to see. I don't know. Did you see them? Yeah, they're just, but it's kind of cool. Do you see what I mean by on the edge? <laughs> Everything's like on the edge on the one side. It, I didn't get it more further across, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And then I was putting them that way. I should have, I could have put them the other way, but I think they, they were so close to that side. That, yeah, see? Isn't that cool? But that's the edge. That was kind of funny. Yeah, they're fun to put together that way. So they call it a butterfly swirl because you put it together and it's supposed to make a butterfly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's my theory anyway. <laughs> can I say? They smell delightful. I do, I do like the scent. I'm sorry to those people who don't like it, but I do like it. Sparkling notes of bergamot and mandarin and orange. Mandarin orange. I can't even read my own notes. Well, there you go. The, it's on the edge. I hope you had a good time. Thank you for dropping by. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>